let's talk about simplifying, adding, and subtracting polynomials. First, let's talk about some vocabulary words. This is a monomial because it has one term. Binomials have two terms. Trinomials have three terms. You can call any of these polynomials. Now let's be sure we know what a term is. A term is this group of things that's added or subtracted. So when I say a group, I mean it can have a variable. It could just be a constant. It might be a variable with a coefficient. It can be a variable with an exponent. It can be an exponent, a variable, and a coefficient. But each of those is one term. Let's see if we can simplify this polynomial. Whenever we try to simplify, we're looking for like terms. Like terms have the same variable and the same exponent. So in this case, none of these are like terms. Even this one and this one that both have the same variable, they don't have the same exponent. So they're not like terms and we cannot try to combine them. Let's look at this polynomial and see if we can simplify it. First, we're looking for like terms. Like terms have the same variable and the same exponent. So we have 5a and 2a. We can add these, 5a and 2a make 7a. When you're combining like terms, you can add the coefficients and then you keep the variable and you keep the exponent. So let's look at these, 7b squared and a negative 3b squared. If you're going to use this method where you box the term, be sure you box the sign in front of it. We have to remember that this is a negative. We're taking that away. So we do 7 minus 3 to get a positive 4, and then we keep b squared. You will never change the exponent if you're just adding or subtracting like terms. It's important to note that these are equivalent expressions. They're just, this is just the simplified version. If you have a value for a and b, you can plug it into either one of these and you'll get the same solution. Sometimes you'll see parentheses when you're trying to simplify. If there's nothing to multiply outside these parentheses, you can kind of ignore them. Now let's look for like terms. We've got x and a positive 10x together. That makes 11x, and then we have positive 3y and negative 5y. So that will combine to make negative 2y. Be careful with subtraction because that subtraction means you're taking away everything in this second parentheses. I recommend rewriting this without parentheses and distributing that subtraction sign. So we keep this first set of terms. And now we want to subtract 10x, and we want to subtract a negative 5y. So we'll end up adding 5y. Now let's find our like terms. x minus 10x is negative 9x. And then 3y and 5y make 8y. If you have a number outside the parentheses, that means it's multiplying everything in here. So we need to distribute it. Negative 4 times 2a will multiply the coefficient times negative 4. Negative 8a, negative 4 times a negative 7b squared. Multiply these big numbers first. That gives us a positive 28. And then we'll keep our variable an exponent. Let's try this one. First we need to distribute before we try to combine any like terms. So let's distribute this first parentheses. 5 times 4c is 20c. 5 times c squared is 5c squared. Now over here we're distributing a negative 3. Negative 3 times 2c is negative 6c. Negative 3 times a negative 9 is a positive 27. Remember, you can think about negative signs as subtraction or just a sign with the number. Now let's see if we have any like terms. 
We have a 20C over here and a negative 6C here. So we'll do 20 minus 6 to get 14C. These are not like terms, so let's just bring them down. Now this answer is technically correct, but it's not written in standard form. Standard form says to put the highest exponent terms first. So let's move this one to the front. The next highest would be 14C because that exponent is 1. And then we have our constant at the end. Let's try this one. First we'll distribute. 5A times B is 5AB. 5A times 2B squared is 10AB squared. You're multiplying the coefficients, and then if you can do anything to combine the variables, but in this case, they're different, so we just need to be sure each one is there. 5a times a is 5a squared. Over here, we have 3ab squared and 3a squared. Now let's look for like terms. 10ab squared and 3ab squared combine to make 13ab squared. Then we have 5a squared and 3a squared to make 8a squared. And finally, we have 5ab. Now, when you go to put this in standard form, note that we have two different variables going on. So you want to figure out the degree of each term. The degree means you add all the exponents involved in the term. So if I want to know the degree of this term, A has an exponent of 1 and B has an exponent of 2. So that term has a degree of 3. This term only has the one variable with an exponent of 2, so it has a degree of 2. This term has two variables, they each have an exponent of 1. That term has a degree of 2. So you want to be sure this is in order from greatest to least by the degree.